Hey, sports fans, Greg Metford, Metford Knife, MKT USA, and ASK Knives. It's a great company. Started in 1906 out in Dayton, Ohio, Gerstner & Sons. They've made toolboxes for, as you can see, coming up on 120 years. Uh, we did a partnership with them for an American-made toolbox, and here it is. Now, I know a couple of you are going to say, oh, they have Asian-made stuff. They have a different line of things that they have made. Their international brand, this is not it. This is their Dayton made in Ohio, 100% USA American made toolboxes. Now, uh, this box, we spec'd this out. We're gonna open this up and show you. For those of you who don't know, um, uh, outside of banking or let's say the New York money world, uh, where you would show up with a fine Swiss watch and a great briefcase and a suit that was kind of your armor. Uh, back in the day, craftsmen and tradesmen showing up with your toolbox was a kind of sign of your success. So to have a handmade, American-made toolbox made by Gerster & Sons when you walked in to apply for a machinist job in, let's say, Michigan or Ohio or anywhere and now what we call the Rust Belt, but the manufacturing sector of America, you would show up with your box. You'd interview, and the, the kind of box you carried uh, spoke to who you were and what your experience, quality level, craftsmanship level, and tool level was. It sp spoke of the pride you had in your tools Having pride in your tools has to do with pride in your work, and um, you know excellence is um, you know excellence is not a one-time thing. Excellence is a habit. You know, awesome is something that doesn't happen by mistake. It happens by repetition. Doing things excellently has a tendency to permeate across many different spheres of our life. We wanted to do something that came from this place of this Americanism, this man-made, this uh, handmade craftsmanship and it goes really well with our knives so we spec'd out this box four clasps and a locking top it's a spring-loaded top holds the front panel now I spec this box in walnut walnut and uh, nickel coated hardware it's got a little tray here that you can put your stuff out on with a uh, felt on it when you look in the top Gerstner usually has a mirror in there the mirror is so you could, if you got a little sliver in your eye or you got something in your eye, you could look in the mirror and uh, uh, maybe get something out of your eye. Or maybe you could comb your mustache before you uh, headed off to lunch. Um, we uh, did a polished stainless steel uh, logo with some etching in it. Uh, in the top also, we did some slots for carrying knives. As you can see, this one's loaded up pretty beautifully. Along the front here, for knife collectors, we put a measuring stick so you could take a blade. Hey, how long is that knife? Well, you could just lay it down right here and say, oh, this knife's 10 and a quarter inches long. Just a little extra little fun stuff. As you get down into the box, <clears throat> you'll see it's a co-brand piece with our logo and the uh, built by Gerster & Sons, Dayton, Ohio, USA. I'll put my glasses on and I'll show you some of the other kind of neat things about this. This, this drawer here is actually uh, what we call the Dirty Dozen drawer. You can see the little Dirty Dozen from the movie there with some bullet holes in it. And in here you can put uh, a dozen knives. <coughs> it's about the most you could fit in there. That's why we call it the Dirty Dozen. Just having a little fun with some classic Americana. Next are the Magnificent Seven. So this is set up in the Magnificent Seven like the movie. Um, Open this up and you could kind of organize the knives you want to wear next week, knives you want to carry next week. And you could see along the front of each one, there's a day of the week letter. And this is just kind of a fun thing. Um, you know, like uh, guys that uh, collect watches, when you get enough watches, guys say, oh, I kind of wear this watch or that watch. I, I don't really wear my other watch as much anymore. I love the building, the rotation. You kind of build up a habit of wearing a watch or something. But if you're a kind of guy who collects some nice stuff, this just gives you a fun little way to kind of, uh, kind of almost force you through your rotation to, to wear all of your knives and, and be friends with all of them, not just your favorite of the week. So the next thing is our Slim Pickens. Now, obviously Slim Pickens uh, was an actor that did Westerns and uh, we thought it would be fun to do one called Slim Pickens. This has got a uh, complement of small slip joints in it. Now, Frankly, the slots are big enough. You can put a, a lot of full-size knives right in them. But for your bigger 
knives. We made bigger channels, but they'll they'll actually fit in here as well. That's a, a smooth criminal just dropping right in there. Most of our knives will fit right in there. Fraction. I'm sorry. Yeah, in fraction. Again, this is a seven uh, seven slot drawer, so you could use this as a your, your uh, Monday through uh, Monday through Friday, your uh, Saturday. Sunday through Saturday, uh, kind of slip joint drawer. Over here is Tinker's Dam. Got a little hammer in the uh, uh, for the T in Tinker's. And that's a kind of Irish phrase. If you watch Peaky Blinders, you'll hear them say it in there. They don't give a Tinker's Dam. Um, and and uh, it's a play on words, you know, tinkers or guys playing around with their stuff. You can put your tools in here and your cleaning gear and put a little thing of oil. And... Uh, that would be what you put in your Tinker's Dam. So you've got a top for fixed blades. It's about proportional the way the guys carry them. You've got, or the way the guys collect and own. Down here you've got 12 plus 7. So you've got 19 here plus another 7. 26 there. Plus you've got spots for 2, 4, 6 up here. You could also slip a couple of more knives in here and maybe throw a couple of watches in. Anyways, this is our Gerstner uh, Medford Knife collab project that we did uh, as a collector's box. I'm looking forward to seeing these around. We we'll take a bunch of knives, and you can have these on your. Uh, you can have these on your, uh, maybe on the counter behind your desk in your executive office, or you could have this in your really nice closet. Uh, if you're not a watch collector, you could put it where a guy might have his watch winder to keep his uh, favorite 16 or so watches in that are winding. Um, you've got this really cool manly case. You could even have a thing if you've got a good man cave, have it sit in your man cave. <coughs> have it sitting in your man cave and be a place where you can stow all of your knives and they won't get all dusty. You could, uh, a cleaning person can be around them and clean off and you can have it locked. There's keys up in the top and uh, it's just a way to kind of secure your stuff a little bit and uh, have it all in one place. Uh, and have it in a really nice case that you can show somebody who's into knives or if you want to display your knives to somebody or just to have for yourself. Um, I have knives like, uh, I have a slot in my closet where I've got them all just kind of piled in there. Um, I was thinking one of these would be lovely uh, to have in there. I'd throw some watches in a couple of drawers, knives across the bottom and it would kind of have me set. It's like a jewelry box for chicks, but for man jewelry. Anyways, this is our Gerstner and Sons collab that was done with us this year we're tickled about it we think it's a great project hope you guys really like it these were made in dayton ohio they're on our website if you go to medfordknife.com it's one of the top featured products uh, and uh or you can just um type in kirstner in the uh, search window and it'll pop right up